Hey everybody. So I've been promising and promising and now I'm going to actually do this. Oh, sorry, I've got a bunch of rings on because my daughter was playing with them. Um, we're gonna do derma planing. So derma planing, what it is, is it sounds more like shaving your face, but really what you're doing is you're taking a very fine razor and you're removing all the facial hairs, the little tiny fine hairs. No, they do not grow back coarser. Uh, and you're removing the dead skin from your face. So makeup goes on a lot easier and uh, smoother. So there's a couple of products that you can use to do this. Of course, you can use a regular razor. That's fine. Um, they do make facial razors like this that are just fine. They're ergonomical, so they're really easy to use. There's also a medical grade one that I've been trying to save up to buy and I just have not been able to yet um I'm, I guess I'm lazy I don't know but there's two ways you can do this just like shaving anything shaving your legs you know shaving your underarms you can do this wet or dry um you can definitely see what you're able to get off when it's dry but when it's wet it glides a lot easier and you get a lot smoother finish so, what I'm doing, I've got my coconut oil. And I'm just going to coat my face in a light layer of it. Okay, so right, remember it starts out solid, but just with a little warmth. It's liquid. So, this is going to give me the slip that I want. Glides over easy. The other thing I have is a little small cup of water. <clears throat> so I can clean off my razor just like when you're shaving your feet. Now, the one thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go against the grain. And I know this is scary for some people because they think shaving their face is going to grow back darker and coarser. Let me tell you why it feels coarser because a hair grows in a cylinder that points off to the end, okay? So when you cut anything off mid-shaft like that, it's gonna feel a little coarser. I promise it's not growing back darker or coarser. It's just that it feels that way, all right? So if you just let it grow out naturally, it'll, it'll kind of work its way to that point again, but at first it might feel just a little bit stubbly. It's not noticeably stubbly. You're not going to grow a beard from doing this. I promise you that. Okay. So I've wet this just a little bit. And I'm going to pull my sections taut. And just pull up. I'm going to just shake it up. And it removes... That layer of hair, let me get a cotton round. I've already done a part of my face before I did this. So some of it's not gonna be as visible, but I hope you can hear. That's a better swipe. Now when you do this dry, here look, if you don't believe me, it's coming off. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. All this light, but there's this line here. It's removing the hair and the dead skin. Do not be afraid of this. I know it sounds scary at first, there's nothing scary about it. You get this very smooth finish. When you do this, your makeup goes on flawlessly. It will, you will be amazed because think about when you're putting your makeup on, you've got these hairs sticking out on your face, okay? And you're putting makeup on them. You're coating those hairs in your makeup. So they pop out and they're orange, okay? And it gives you a less flawless look. What you're also doing is removing that top layer of skin. Remember what I told you about skin growing in a layer? So you've got a fine line here, okay? And the skin underneath it is mimicking what the top layer is seeing. 
So you remove that top layer, bloop, 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 bloop. Eventually that fine line is gone. Okay, so I'm gonna continue. You're gonna wanna be careful around your hairline. Now, some people dermaplane and they fix their hairline. I have sideburns, so I take them off. I give myself a defining line. But you have to be kind of careful around that hairline. And we're doing this everywhere. We're doing our foreheads. And I'm giving it medium pressure. And I'm careful around my eyebrows. Lord knows eyebrows are the big thing right now. You just saw me take a, now I have bangs. That's awesome. So, I'm just going to continue to do that around my face. After I'm done doing all this, this would be a great time to do derma rolling. If you watch my derma rolling video, this is a great time to do that because your skin is extra clean. It's flawless at that point, has no added layers for your, you think about it, you put on a product, you've got all this facial hair and dead skin, that's what's going to absorb that product. If you dermaplane, it's going straight in, I'm telling you, straight in, okay? If you have any questions about what I'm doing, Please comment. Please comment. Send me messages. Do whatever you have to do. I am very willing to answer all of your questions. But this is being done everywhere. I'm doing my entire face the same way. So what I would do is follow this up with doing some derma rolling. Derma rollers are very easy to find nowadays. You can find them at Walmart. Now, before I did this, I exfoliated my face with my favorite scrub brush. You know this brush if you've watched any of my videos. I love this brush. I love this brush. What I did is I did it wet this time instead of a dry brush. I used my regular face wash by Neutrogena. Nothing special, nothing fancy, no high dollar. This is Neutrogena face wash that I just happen to like because it's gentle. I use my scrub brush. Clean your brushes. Clean your brushes after you do this. This was orange, now it's white. You clean your brushes with shampoo and conditioner, just like you do your hair. So I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna do this gently as I get close to my hairline. I'm going against the hair growth and I'm doing my entire face. I have a nice little widow's point, widow's peak that you can't really see, but I'm going to continue to do this around my entire face. Am I going to do my mustache? You bet your damn ass I'm going to do my mustache. Pull your skin taut. If you get waxed, that's fine. You have no facial hair, that's fine. Do this anyways, you're gonna find that you get residue on here. Especially if you do it dry, you're gonna see all the dead skin on this, all right? It's beautiful. Your fin, your fin, your skin is completely without any dead skin on it after you're done. Now, if you like, to do if you if it starts to dry out because your skin is a little dry in the winter time you can add some more coconut oil or keep doing it dry if you do it dry at least you're getting to see all the changes that are coming okay you're gonna see it just build up you're gonna be surprised if you think you have no hair on your face you're gonna be surprised at the skin on or the hair on your skin you can almost see it as I work up all that dead skin. Now you can go have this professionally done. It's about $40. I highly recommend going to do it professionally if that's in your budget. 
If it's not, it's okay to do it yourself. You can even buy the professional tools to do it. It looks more like a scalpel, not an exacto blade, but a scalpel. It's a medical tool. I wish I had had one. I should, probably should have had one to do this, but if you have one, it's it looks like almost like a, a surgical scalpel, okay? And you're doing the same theory. You're getting in close. When you're around, you know, your sensitive areas that you don't want to lose hair, you're just going to be a little softer with this, okay? And you're going to work it off. I wish you could see this because it is removing dirt. It's removing, even though my skin is so clean, I even did a peel off mask. I mean, I ripped every hair I thought I owned on my face off of it, but it's still finding stuff, okay? That brings me to another topic. How do I like these peel off masks? Especially the charcoal ones. I don't. I don't like them. I don't like the trauma it causes, even though derma rolling does cause trauma. Oh, I wish you could see this. Do you see this? It took off a big chunk of dead skin. <clears throat> I don't know if the light's gonna cooperate with me, but you can see the dead skin here. That it's pulling off my face even after I ripped it off with one of those horrible rip-off masks but I'm gonna continue around my face and being careful around my hairline unless I want to reshape my hairline which you can totally do there's people who absolutely do this every day there's nothing wrong with that I like I said I have a sideburn and I take it off. Now, razor burn. Are you worried about razor burn? If you're someone who's prone to razor burn, this, and if it's the first time you've ever dermaplaned, you may get a little bit of razor burn. What do we talk about when it comes to healing your skin? Aloe. Aloe will help that. There's also products on the market that you can buy like Tend Skin. Tend Skin helps with regrowth and ingrown hairs. You're not If you're just taking the peach fuzz off, you're not going to get ingrown hairs. Now, you may see a bump or two, but that's okay. They'll go away. Just keep treating them like you would the reg your regular skin if you had some bumps. Um, it's... When you do this, your face actually feels, you know that feeling when you first shave your legs and you, you get into the sheets? Your face are going to have, your face is going to have that feeling um, of the freshly shaved. But, just condition it. Oh, I wish that this showed up well on camera. But it does work. So I'm going to go continue to do the rest of my face. I hope that you'll try this. If you, you know, if you're looking for tips on putting makeup on, the key is to have a great canvas. Having a great canvas comes from within. Let's try to correct what's already happened without. So I'm dermaplaning. Dharma planning, it's safe, it's easy. You know how to shave. You're a grown woman, you've done it forever. Keep the skin taut, do it in small sections. Hold it with your hand. And just do a little bit at a time, okay? If you have any, 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 any questions, follow my Facebook page. I'm doing giveaways there. Ask me on Facebook. I will answer your questions. Question me on here. I will answer your questions. Please, please ask questions. Because I'm here to help. I'm here to help you get through this. You will notice tomorrow when you put your makeup on. It's going to go on so easy and so flawless. It's going to be amazing. You're going to love it. Okay? Don't worry about regrowth. Regrowth is going to happen. 
it's going to feel like it's going to be real coarse because you cut it off mid shaft where it's the thickest. Don't concern yourself with that. It's not going to grow you a beard. I promise you're not going to break out in a bush on your forehead. I promise. I'm going to put my name on that. Okay. So, anyways, I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned a little something about dermaplaning. If you want to go have this professionally done, I highly recommend it. If you want to do it yourself because you're like me, and maybe you got some diapers to buy and you ain't got the budget for that, I understand that too. I'm doing it at home myself, okay? Uh, well, I hope you subscribe and give this a thumbs up. Alright, I'll see you soon.